How I came to Islam, it's, uh, it's an interesting story actually. Um, I traveled to Turkey with uh, a group of my friends for, you know, a lad's holiday, a typical, you know, Western sort of lad's thing to do. Go overseas for a cheap holiday and, you know, cheap alcohol and stuff like that. But subhanAllah, when I got there, the first thing I heard was the adhan and it really struck me subhanAllah. And the bit of the adhan that stuck in my head was Hayya uh, al come to success uh, so I asked the staff what the what this was all about why why is this call going five times a day and they explained to me that it's Islam Muslims it's a call for prayer uh, they weren't exactly the best example but alhamdulillah when I got back to uh, Wales I started to research about Islam and uh, eventually uh, after researching about the Quran and the science and the miracles and listening mostly to era and their argument for the existence of a creator subhanallah it just convinced me and uh, that's when i uh, decided to accept islam and become muslim alhamdulillah you know subhanallah um before i actually uh, took shahad and accepted islam i um i was coming to the masjid during ramadan and i was fasting and praying tarawih and uh, just you know coming with the brothers here and spending time with them I don't know what I don't know what it was, but it was just this feeling inside me that was just like you know, telling me to come to the mosque. Subhanallah, I don't know what it was. It's, you know, guidance from Allah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, soon after I uh, accepted Islam, I actually made a move to Australia just for a change of life lifestyle and experience. Um, I learned Quran there. Alhamdulillah. I learned how to pray, how to uh, you know do everything there. Alhamdulillah. So. Uh, I've just recently come back um, and actually whilst I was in Australia I was married for a short time it didn't work out alhamdulillah but there's a really uh, amazing lesson I learned from the marriage and a really amazing story that I'd like to share with you inshallah um, just before I was married get going to get married uh, something really you know subhanallah crazy happened I uh, I lost my job I uh, my car broke down I lost my phone I just everything was going wrong subhanallah and I think this was definitely a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are you still gonna go ahead now and get married so anyway I discussed with the family and we decided that yeah we'll still get married inshallah and a week after the marriage subhanallah someone gave me a call you have a job a brother came up to me and said here's a car for free subhanallah and another brother gave me his phone. Another brother gave me, you know, $500 just to see me through until I started my job, subhanAllah. So look at this blessing from Allah, subhanAllah. My advice to uh, Welsh people who are watching now, or generally, you know, British people who aren't Muslim, maybe they're atheist or Christian. Um, my advice is, don't believe what you see on the news and don't believe what the Western governments are saying about Islam either come to the mosque meet Muslims and speak to us you know everything you're seeing on the on the news and the media it's it's propaganda it's fairy tales it's fabricated information it's not true come and speak to us and you'll find out for yourself subhan so that's my advice to uh, to everyone there watching um, you know come and discover the truth for yourself and come and speak to us about Islam to find out about Islam <laughs>